Okay, everybody, it's Jackie DeBitt, and we're doing our final reveal of the luxury suites. And this is my store um, where they check in. And then here's the door where we head up to the suites. I tried to do a live video this morning, but I lost my connection. So I figured it would just probably be easier if I did it this way. Um, we have named all of the suites after somebody who has inhabited or owned this building. And the two people who built the building in 1891 were um, two gentlemen named Smith and McLaren. So right now we're going to enter the DeWitt suite. This suite uh, sleeps eight people. So there was two beds in the front room there. Here's the bathroom. And this bedroom. All of our beds are Sealy pillow top gel cooled beds. Uh, each suite comes with a dining room, living room, bedrooms, bathroom. This one is really, really big and it's really, really bright. All of the, um, the windows here face the main road. Um, and you can see the Solace Spa, gift shop, our little gazebo area to sit. Um, but this is a really, really big suite. You could sleep more people than eight in here. Uh, you know, you could put people on the couch or whatever. But that is this suite. And so then we go across the hallway to the Smith suite. What's cool um, for me is I got to have my addiction of decorating. Um, in each suite, they look different. So I was able to have a different feel and a different look for each one, which was really cool when I was uh, designing them. So this one is sort of my take on modern or trendy. Um, I just feel it's a really cool space. Uh, I mean this white shag rug, I think that totally makes it, but yeah, this is a really neat suite. Um, this one sleeps four. Uh, every suite is priced the same. Uh, just so I wouldn't drive myself crazy and um, it's by the bedroom so I decided if I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be different than everybody else I'm gonna continue to be different and it's uh, it's just priced by the bedroom so if you need one bedroom it's hundred and fifty dollars if you need two bedroom it's three hundred if you need three bedrooms it's four fifty for the night so whatever rooms you don't need if you're in any of these suites, I just close and lock the door. But it's yours for the night and uh, it's almost just like your own home. There are self-contained apartments. Uh, everyone that is on the main floor is air conditioned, or the upstairs floor rather is air conditioned. Um, this looks down out to the uh, backyard where we have a sitting area and uh, the Four Winds event barn is right here. Like that's how close we are. So it's literally a stone throw away uh, from the event barn, but here's a nice little sitting area. Uh, this one again is the McLaren suite. It's kind of nature inspired for me to decorate in this one because I kept seeing that tree look at me. This one is the Morton suite and this is the owner of the barn, Brian Morton and his wife, Cookie. And I decorated it in sort of a rustic sort of farm barn theme as much as I could. Um, it was intended that I would fit uh, just four people in here. But in fact, I squeezed another bed in and uh, now it accommodates six people to sleep in here. What a cool feature. Who thinks of having a windmill in their wall? Well, I thought it was a really, really neat spot for it. And Brian kindly lent that to me. So... That's where it ended up. I made a sink out of an old dresser. And um, all I have to do in here yet is get the uh, table and the TV put in and put up the blinds and the curtains in that room and just clean my way out. It's ready for its full building booking today and tomorrow. So that is the Smith, McLaren, and the DeWitt suite. Then we head down the back stairs and you see all the wood that uh, I'm building the deck with um, upstairs. Um, 
we are refacing the deck and building a brand new railing so we're hoping to get that done by uh, I'm hoping in the next two weeks and then here is just a shot of the outside and how close we are to the barn um, this is the back of the building and we're heading into the Maitland suite this suite is obviously on the main level and uh, it's very very large it has really really high ceilings um, I feel like the look in this one is really old meets new um, it does sleep six people in here so there is one room with a queen and then there's uh, another room with two doubles which makes it nice for families to stay um, obviously it has a full kitchen and um, it also has laundry which is where I do all the bedding um, during the day and as well it'll be great for when snowmobilers uh, come here and stay this winter because then they can um, dry their boots and their balaclavas and their mitts and their all their liners out of the boots so it's a, it's a really neat place this one is um, probably one of my favorites and then we will head over to the last suite, which is the Huron Suite. So we're in Huron County, and uh, this is the Huron Suite. This one was the first one that I tackled, and um, I really like this one. It uh, feels really homey. Um, it's got a neat flair to it. Um, if you were watching some of my videos, this is the countertop that I made myself uh, with leftover paint and a sponge mop. <laughs> you get creative. Uh, this one has two bedrooms and it sleeps four. So um, it's a really nice, uh, it's a nice size. And um, each one of these floor units has fire exits that go out to the main street as well. And here's the bathroom. So that is a tour of the DeWitt Luxury Suites. So I hope you enjoyed your tour. Um, if you need to get a hold of us for any reason, if people are sharing this post, you can find us at thedewitt.com. And that is with one T. www. T-H-E-D-E-W-I-T. -E -E but for now, that is the Luxury Suites. There's the barn and the sitting area. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Bye.